Well, yes, I did, Joel, and it was pretty exciting. We saw these signs indicating it stops as we were on our way to the Kiwanis shelter. And then right after we parked just around the corner, the futuristic vehicle slowly made its way here with flashing lights and sounds. It drives itself. Don't look for a driver Isn't that really cool? or even a steering wheel on the Cassie. The slow moving red, white and blue shuttle is an attention grabber at Carrie's Bond Park. That's amazing. I mean, like self-driving anything is just really cool. So that's definitely really cool and like help people get around the park. And it looks really funny. So <laughs> and that I can't believe it's driverless and no one's in there. The eight passenger shuttle is no stranger to North Carolina, cruising at NC State's Centennial Campus to the Outer Banks. Traveling about 12 miles per hour, it uses sensors and GPS to make its way around the town of Cary hopping aboard this project in hopes it'll be more accessible in the future. I've noticed such a huge amount of new technology and cars and everything coming here. Casey Potier moved to Cary from California a few years ago and has seen firsthand some of the glitches with new tech. Back in Palo Alto when they were doing the driverless car testing and I saw two of them come to a four-way stop sign and they just stood at each other and stared at each other because they didn't know what to do. So it's like those little kinks that you see and you like hope they actually work out to um, <laughs> make it safe for everybody around. And while she's all for growth, there is some concern about Carrie losing its small town charm. Growth is always great. Um, however, I do see how the Bay Area was and that was a major reason why we left was that it was insanely popular and very hugely developed. So we did want to come to a more of a small town. So it's kind of bittersweet. And so while there is no driver, there is an attendant on board at all times to help people get on and off safely. And the best part of this news, Joel, you can't argue, is that rides are free. Reporting in Cary, Cindy Bay, ABC <laughs> 11 Eyewitness News. Nothing beats free. I see a day where Cassie is ferrying people down Academy Street in downtown Cary one day. Cindy, thank you.